up everybody thank you for coming to another rt shirts video and today we got the homie brian from what's your business name ntn create NTN. all day long all day long and he makes custom shirts he's one of the people i'm trying to help grow a business right here and he's using my office hooked him up with some equipment and today you're gonna see the the shop tour uh do you think we're missing a lot of stuff brian um, maybe, but not not to do what we gotta do. All right. Well, we're starting out with the super basics. Yeah. Cameo, a heat press, and some luck, and and some goodwill. That's about it. That's <laughs> all you need. <laughs> all right. We're gonna show you around the office, see what he's working with, to inspire you to get started. And just letting you guys know, you guys don't need an office. You actually used to do shirts in my apartment. In your apartment. Yeah. How was that, man? Sucked. Yeah, was it crowded or what? Yeah, it was super crowded because I mean it's a really small apartment already. Yeah. And then it's it, it's super crowded, and then I had a table in there, and I, man, it was just it was hard. Yeah, yeah. So I put it out there. I'm like, hey, anybody looking to start teacher business here locally? He hit me up. We worked with, we worked before. Mm -hmm. Editing. Yeah, great guy. So let's get started. I see a couple machines over there. What you got? Yes, sir. Well, we got the Cameo 4, which is the 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 baby of it. That's the one that cuts all the all the images out, all the all the vinyl out. And let me ask you. Yeah. Is this the first time you've ever worked with a Cameo 4? Cameo 4, yes. Yeah. I had a Cameo 1. Mm. And that one was, I mean, yeah. it sounded like my, my, my uncle's car in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and what was one of the biggest struggles with the Cameo 4? Was there a big learning curve? No, not really. The, the, the biggest learning curve was with my first one. But once you transition to one of these, I mean, it's, mm. it's butter, bro. Got you. Just let you guys know, Cameo 4 in the description, all right? Super cheap. Yes. But anyways, and then what are you doing right now? Just one color designs? One and two color. Mm. Yeah, one and two color designs. And we're not trying to get too crazy on it, trying to break our backs. Yeah. We're trying to just kind of create a, a like a client list, figure everything out, make a flow, and then, you know, maybe from there we can scale up. And um, only providing one or two color designs, mm -hmm. do you think that hurt has hurt your business? Do you get a lot of customers rejecting, pretty much saying, nah, never mind because of that? I do, I, I do get a, a lot of them that want like more, uh, like bigger designs and more color designs and things like that. So I guess you can say, yeah, it has hurt it. But um, for the most part, a lot of a lot of people that are just starting off, especially like detailers and stuff like that, they don't really have crazy designs. So so I mean, it just depends. For the most part, I mean, we've been we've been good with just just one two color. All right, man. So what's the next piece of equipment over here? This one is the Sawgrass, uh, hold up. <laughs> sublimation, yeah, the G500. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, the yeah. The G500, the sublimation. That one, I've tried it out like twice, um, but that one does have a learning curve. Yeah. Yeah, that one does have a learning curve and it's mostly, I think it's polyester only. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, maybe like some cups and things like that, what we can do, but we're trying to find a place for what we can do with it. Gotcha, man, what's that over there? This, I, see, I see a little ruler tool. Yeah, this is my, my T ruler. Um, this one helps me out with, with shirts, like trying to figure out um, placement, placement mm. wise. Um, you know, I'll come from the, to the top of the, of the heat press and then I'll measure it depending on how the size of the shirt. I'll usually do like three inches to three and a half inches down and then across. This is 16. Um, this is 16 inches. So then I'll just, I'll do, I'll, I'll go over and and center it with my with my T ruler, and that helps out a lot. It's probably one of the the best pieces of equipment that I've that I've bought. Is that pretty much it? I mean, we well, got the heat press. Yeah. The heat press. This one's pretty good. Um, it goes in and out. It was wobbly in the beginning. We fixed that. Yeah. Well, um, why was it wobbly? The screw on the bottom. This whole thing actually came off. What? Yeah. I was putting it in, and, and then when I when I brought it out, it lifted up, and I was like, oh my gosh. So I checked under, and then uh, Johnny, he was here. That's another uh, guy that helps me out. Um, we fixed it, or he fixed it. He actually came under and and, and fixed it up. What? And I mean, it's it works now. Butter, bro. <laughs> Yeah, appreciate that. Thank you. Yes, thank sir. You. Yes, sir. All right, man. But hey, you don't need much. 
to you get started, right? You don't need much to get started. You need a want to do it. I mean, I was doing it already. So I've been doing this and with the whole Not The Norm, like our own t-shirt brand, I was doing one, two color shirts anyways. Mm -hmm. So you just wanna, you just need a want to do it. And I mean, you're good, bro.